on all sides from the point of Saginaw and Washington streets in beautiful downtown Durant, Michigan, First Congregational Church presents Cafe Devo, a biblical devotion designed to fit seamlessly into your day and help you draw closer to Jesus Christ. Thanks for tuning in. God bless you. Hey, everybody. Welcome to this Friday episode of Cafe Devo. That's right. It's Friday, the end of the work week for some of you. March 1st, 2024 here in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan. I'm Pastor Steve Wood. I do believe you know my pal Bugsy. He's the more popular one of our duo. (laughs) Hanging out over there and doing his thing. And I hope your Friday is going well. Once again, today, we turn to the book Ordinary Things for our devotional thought. It's a collection of Lenten devotions that I wrote especially for the members and friends of First Congregational Church, but we invite everyone to join with us in our Lenten journey as we prepare ourselves for the celebration of the resurrection of Jesus Christ on Easter Sunday in just a few weeks. We're looking forward to that. Mark chapter 15, verses 21 through 24. A certain man from Cyrene, Simon, the father of Alexander and Rufus, was passing by on his way from the country, and they forced him to carry the cross. They brought Jesus to the place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull. Then they offered him wine mixed with myrrh, but he did not take it, and they crucified him. Imagine the scene. Simon was walking down the street, minding his own business. Maybe he was on his way to work or home or to the market. When he heard the commotion, he turned and saw Roman soldiers forcing a man bruised and battered down the road. The man struggled, bent over from the weight of the cross and wearing a crown of thorns, and then he faltered and fell to his knees. Simon knew the fate of the man and knew enough to stay out of the way. But a Roman guard grabbed him from the crowd and compelled him to get involved. (laughs) Compelled. Could he have refused? (laughs) Only if he wanted a beating. Willingly or not, Simon got swept up in God's salvation story that day, forever connected to the passion of our Lord Jesus. God's plan to save the world will not be denied. We may deny knowing him, cower in the crowd, or refuse to take up our cross for a time, but God is relentless. He never stops coming for us. Regardless of everything else going on around him, Jesus went to the cross, prayed for our forgiveness, and made salvation available to everyone who would receive it. Even those compelled into service, oblivious to the role they are playing or the one they are serving, further the will of the God who never gives up. On good days, our faith compels us to follow Jesus wherever he leads. On other days, we run away and deny we ever knew him. Grace overcomes all that. Even though our acts of compassion cannot be unwound from our sinful selves. God uses us anyway. He just keeps coming for us. Father, how we love you today. Thank you, Lord, for another day of life, for this Friday, for the blessings of life and all that you give us. Redeem the day for your purpose, Lord, and help us to serve you well, to take up our cross follow you. We do want to be your disciples, Lord, so help us in this, we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, that's going to do it for us on this Friday episode of Cafe Devo. Thanks so much for joining me. If you don't mind, give that like button a click so that we know you stopped by and forward this episode to your friends and family so maybe we can be a blessing to them as well. I'm Pastor Steve Wood signing off for now. God bless you, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow.